Hello guys, it's the second video. I'm uh, I'm just going to show you how to work with uh, Entity Framework Reverse Engineering, but this time our project will be in uh, Entity Framework Core, not a normal Entity Framework. So in your uh, search part, you have to add Entity Framework Core Power Tools. Uh, yes, EF Core Power Tools. Choose it, download and install that. I have already downloaded this guy too and installed that but don't forget something you have to close your Visual Studio to let this guy to be installed safely yes I have installed that uh, in previous video I show you my member type table you have to create your table first and I reverse that to be a context in Visual Studio, I will show you how to do this. So open uh, your Visual Studio. Yes, this is my reverse.NET framework. I have uh, tested before, but again, I will create this. Create a new project. I choose ASP.NET Core Web Application, not Web Application for .NET Framework. This have to be Core. Uh, reverse. Uh, yeah sorry reverse read core it has it's just a name don't worry about that yes uh, it has everything has to be default you can change w what you want it has to be with .NET uh, framework view and .NET core view selected create a project reverse core is creating and it's ready in .NET Framework Core is totally easier than .NET Framework. Our main project is ready. I'm going to add uh, another project to manage the data. I I like it in this way. You have to you can select or add it the main in the main project too. So at this time we choose class library .NET Standard, not .NET Framework, because our project is .NET Framework Core. Uh, so let's uh, call this guy uh, I don't know verse dot data uh, choose the standard data and OK so it's ready uh, we don't need class 1 delete alright very good so build this guy for once and find EF Core Power Tools, we have already installed it uh, in the beginning of the video. I have added Sparkus connection, you can do it in this way. Uh, server name uh, mine is dot. You can find your server name by uh, right clicking in your connection and properties. This guy, or I, I can use the dot too. I will show you how I can prove that. Yes. And done yeah I have connected to my databases so you can choose your Sparkus test connection and it's done so I choose Sparkus and press OK uh, tables are shown here I choose all of them yes and uh, it will install the EF core provider package in the project in .NET uh, entity framework you have to install it manually but here it installs uh, itself. It includes a connection string generated code too. And I choose pluralize or signal generated object names in English. I like my tables to be pluralized uh, in my code. And press OK. It's generating the code. It's totally faster than entity framework. So our code is ready. Sparkus context yes very nice so i'm going to add in my reverse core but for uh, before that go to manage nuket package uh, you have to install entity framework core yes not this guy find entity framework core yeah microsoft.entity framework core install it yes yes Alright, done. 
uh, so our job is uh, totally done here but we have to add our uh, connection string to our main project for that open your app settings.json and uh, we will add that guy here uh, the connection string I mean but maybe we don't have to do that too yes uh, before uh, doing that I'm going to add dependency injection in startup part yes in configuration services uh, enter 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 and write services dot add uh, what are we going to add? Uh, we are going to add uh, context. Yes. So add db context. Uh, I have to. Uh, I guess I have write the services wrong. Yeah. I'm sure about that. Yeah. Services. Dot add db context. See. Uh, what was our context name? We can find it here spark is context yes it won't be loaded you have to tell it to add reference to reverse that data uh, and it's totally done you have to add some information to that our guy is totally ready but we have to set a connection string to for this guy yeah options uh, it has to be like uh, lambda the expression uh, lambda option that so after that use SQL SQL yeah I'm just going to write it very bad SQL server it won't uh, ask you to add using Microsoft Entity Verbal Core all right and close so what are we going to add here? We, have, we are going to add our connection string. For getting access to that connection string, we should use a configuration. And in configuration C, here you can see a string, uh, connection string. Uh, for adding that, you uh, totally by using this configuration, you have access to app settings.json. So in configuration, you have to say uh, I we don't have uh, already added this guy but connection strings uh, for example sparkus context good and after that we should say uh, set a lifetime for our context I totally choose transient and, uh, I will make a video for lifetime later but totally it's better to choose transient so what is our connection string here means or spark context we don't have add disguise to our code so go to app settings.json and uh, add disguise here yeah so our connection string is uh, uh, the false null added but it's going it's not going to be null yeah sorry close it so let's our mm, we don't have just one connection string which is just spar cos context yes so uh, what is going to be a sparks context done a connection string ready so Write your connection string here, server can be dot uh, or anything you like. Close it. Uh, what is our database name? Watch it. It's going to be Sparkus. Yes, Sparkus. Close it. Uh, what else? It's going to be a trusted connection trusted connection and it's going to be true what else uh, sorry I just make some mistakes um, 
what else we can add we can add uh, multiple active result sets yes multiple active uh, result sets I'm going to be true which is very good and effective so I added the server which is going to my server name database sparkus and trusted connection which is going to be true we can set this guy to have a big t yes and multiple active results multiple active results is going to be true so our code is ready to be started for testing that i'm going to in my home again but uh, it's not entity framework in dotnet core you have uh, when you want to use services it's going to be a bit different so let's add uh, private yes uh, what was our uh, service name uh, it was sparkos context sparkos context so it asks uh, i have to add it yes add it and it's done so we have to add this guy i'm just going to separate this guy from each other and say this guy have to be no sorry 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 you have to add it in constructor yep so cut paste and this guy is going to be called sky done so uh, i'm going to load the uh, me member types yes we have uh, done this in previous video member type uh, member types is gonna to be equal to sparkus context dot member types dot to list done it's very good and let's try our project but reverse core yes express data so let's see our project will work or not local has is coming up yes comes here it didn't give error to this part because we have our uh, added our dependence injection our startup uh, it's working and yeah see there are four records for our code it's very good and it's done uh, don't forget that uh, there's uh, uh, something one of the benefits of using this reverse job uh, i have showed in previous video but i'm going to uh, do it again i for example i want to change my uh, models or tables for example i change this data type to date time yes save it uh, so how can i update my code my models i go to the reverse data and choose EF Core Power Tool, Reverse Engineering, and choose this guy. Exactly, uh, we are doing re uh, the reverse job again. Uh, you can choose all of them. Yes, yes, yes. So if uh, we open our member type, we can see that yes, this is that time, not a string anymore. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, goodbye.